What's up everyone, Killer Buckeye here. In this video, I'm gonna share with you a simple technique to switch between different guitar tone presets using a, a plugin like Bias FX2 or any other uh, guitar plugin that you might use. So with your DAW software, you can automate um, the, the tones and switch between them as you're playing along to a song, if you're doing a cover song or just practicing or uh, even one of your own songs. Uh, so for me, this has been a real game changer. Before, I was using a Line 6 Pod X3. So I had the Pod X3 for many years. And what I used to switch presets with the Pod was this foot pedal here. So this FBV Express foot pedal um, plugged in with an Ethernet cable. And I was able to program you know, four different presets in a bank in the Pod and then switch between those presets using these buttons with my foot. And if you look at a lot of my old videos, you'll, you'll notice that I move my leg and I actually hit different buttons to switch between different presets, clean, rhythm, or lead. So when I switch to um, software amp sim plugins, one of the things I didn't know how to do at first was to switch between different presets. And it was kind of frustrating because I would have to um, stop playing and then use my mouse and switch to a different preset. It just didn't work very well. So I have to give credit to my friend Finn Maxwell, who many of you know as Music Man 1066, for um, helping me to find a solution here. So I told Finn what I was trying to do, and he explained how I could use mute envelopes in my DAW software to basically toggle uh, between two or more guitar tracks, each set up with a different guitar tone. And so I've been using that technique now for the last couple of years, and, and it works really well. So I'll go ahead and show you how to do that in Reaper, although the process will be very similar for any other DAW software. Okay, so I've opened a blank Reaper project here, and I just have one channel in here that's for picking up my narration microphone. So just ignore this channel. Uh, you won't have this when you're trying to do it for yourself. Um, so the way I'm going to set up this project is as if I were practicing a cover song or even going to record a cover song. The first thing I would do is add a, a new track, and this is going to be the backing track. And for this tutorial, I'm going to actually just use one of my own songs, Disillusion, the new track that I released with Finn Maxwell recently. I'm going to go ahead and set the tempo to 200 just because I know the tempo of this song. Maybe I'll talk in a future video about how I go about learning a cover song, and you know, one of the things is figuring out the tempo um, that can help with your Reaper project. So I want to go ahead and insert the media file. Some, just inserting the uh, master track for Disillusion, and um, then what I want to do is I want to have a um, lead-in, a click source lead-in. So I'm going to go to insert, click source. So I've highlighted two measures before the song kicks in here. Um, let me just play this so you understand what I'm talking about. So the song really kicks in right here. There's sort of a, sw a swell here in the beginning. So I want to put a click source in here just so I have a cue of when to start playing. And I'm, I'm going to uh, fade it out here so that the two um, the click source blends in with the start of the song, so it'll sound like this. Okay, so the next thing I want to do, I need guitar tracks. So I'm going to add a new track here. This is going to be clean guitar, because the guitar is a, sort of a clean or a, a dirty guitar in the beginning. I'm going to click on the effects here. And I'm, actually, for this one, I have a... Um, an effects chain that I made because there's, in addition to Bias FX2, there's also a um, multi band compressor in there. So this is the Disillusion Clean Delay. So this is going to load in Bias FX2 as well as the um, multi band compressor there. I'm using Input 2 on my Focusrite Scarlet. So I'm going to go ahead and set this up to record. It's ready to go. Um, now, the trick to tone switching is using these mute envelopes. So you can find the mute envelope in the trim, so the automation uh, trim button here. 
there's a lot of different things you can um, select depending on what you have in your effects chain. So the one we're going to use is the mute envelope. So when I select the mute envelope, I make it visible and armed, and you can see there's this red band here on the track right below the clean guitar track. And so when the value is 1, it's unmuted. If I were to dra drag the value down to 0, it's muted. Okay, so that, this is our first guitar track. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this track. And in the copy of that track that I just made, this is going to be lead guitar. Okay, and it, you can see the mute envelope loaded in there. It's still input 2. I don't need the multiband compressor, so I'm going to go ahead and remove that. I also um, need to use a different bias effects to preset, so this is going to be uh, the lead, disillusion lead preset. And I'm going to duplicate it one more time because I want a rhythm track as well. So this is going to be rhythm guitar. And um, once again, I'm going to open up Bias Effects 2. I have to choose a different preset. So this is going to be Disillusion Rhythm. OK. So. Now I have my backing track, and I have three different guitar tracks. And let me go ahead and pick up my guitar here. So right now, wherever I place my cursor in this track, it's, it's going to look at whether these three guitar channels are muted or unmuted, and they're all unmuted right now, which means that if I were to play anything, it's actually all, th all three tones are playing together. So why don't I go ahead and mute the rhythm guitar, and I'm going to mute the lead guitar. And the only thing we should be hearing now is the clean guitar. All right, so uh, that's working. So the real trick to this in terms of the switching between the different presets is just setting um, automation points in these envelopes to switch back and forth between the different tones. Um, so if we listen to Disillusion, it's clean. There's a clean intro, and then there's sort of a build-up to a part where the lead guitar comes in. And I think that's... Just... <laughs> All right, so right around here... Right here is where that lead guitar, we want that to kick in, and we want the clean guitar to shut off there. So, And the way I've added those points, let me just go back. I, I, added, I, pressed, I held down Shift to create the point. So if I hold down my Shift key and I click right here, it's going to create a, uh, a point in that envelope. And so I'm going to unmute the lead guitar right here. And I'm going to add an, an envelope point by holding down Shift on the clean guitar. And then I'm going to set that. I'm just going to hold it down, drag, and drop it to zero at this point. So, so right here where the cursor is, when we're playing along to the song, it's going to go from the clean to the lead. And you're, what you would do if you're doing a cover song, for example, is you would um, basically set up this automation for the whole song. So in Disillusion, there's going to be a rhythm. Uh, the, the ver when the verse riff kicks in, um, we want to go to our rhythm tone. So let's see. I think it's right around here. All right, so right here, we are going to activate our rhythm guitar tone, and we're going to deactivate our lead guitar tone. And then right around here, we have our, uh, another solo that comes in. So right here, we are going to 
add two points by holding down shift. We're going to go back to lead guitar and disable our rhythm. So now if I zoom out on the project, you can see we have clean guitar. And it's going to switch to lead guitar. Then it's going to go to rhythm guitar and then back to lead guitar. And there's a few more switches if we were to do the rest of the song, but um, I'm going to leave it at that for now. I'm going to go ahead and reduce the volume of the track down to minus 60 dB or so, just so we can hear the guitar we're playing on top of it. And so now I should be able to play along, and it'll be the right tone for each of these different parts. So I've demonstrated how we can use the mute envelopes to switch between different presets as we play along to the song. Um, we can also use automation uh, for other things like uh, effects, different effects we have on our um, guitar plugins, switching them on and off. And uh, you know, I'll show you an example of this when the when the song kicks in right after the the sort of the clean intro, it goes into this heavy part. Where there's a but there's a lead in, sort of a descending guitar part that starts right here. So that part if we want to sort of match that guitar sound um, that Finn created when he did the uh, production and the mixing on this song. So we're going to go into the effects for the lead guitar. I'm going to remove all effects. I'm going to add an effects chain in here. Uh, this is going to be the lead and there's a um, there's a EQ that's on this part with high pass filter um, and what we want to do is we just want this filter to be active during this uh, descending guitar part that leads in to the heavier part of the song and the way we're going to do that is also with an envelope so we're going to go to our a trim button here where all the envelopes are listed and you can see there's the bias fx2 lots of different settings here um, that are mapped to bias fx2 but the eq is actually um, one of the uh, effects that comes with reaper and basically we want to bypass we want to bypass this eq except for this descending part so um, it's going to be bypassed everywhere but during that descending part. So now when the lead guitar part kicks in for, right here for this uh, first couple of bars, it's going to be um, with the EQ on it. So let's go ahead and um, see what that sounds like. I'm just playing along right now, but if I were to record, uh, it's actually going to record my the same guitar on all four of these tracks. Um, you can go back and just edit the pieces you don't need. So let me just demonstrate that. So we've recorded the guitar here, and it's coming in on these three different guitar tracks, and I don't want it on my microphone here, but it's muted on all the tracks except for the clean guitar track. So I can delete these other two. Um, but if you're going to do the whole song in one take, it doesn't even matter. You can just record all three on all three tracks at the same time. So I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know in the comments uh, if there's anything else you'd like me to talk about in a future video. All right, talk to you soon.